Hey guys, so let's get started with the restoration project of this late model C3 steering wheel that I bought at the Turkey Rod Run earlier this year. I paid only $10 for it and the idea is to um, bring it back to life. The leather is pretty, pretty dried up. There are a few spots with a little bit of rust so it will have to be sanded down, repainted. Look at the condition of the leather. I mean, this thing is so brittle, you can just chip it off by, you know, scraping it with your fingernail. And I was going to try to do something with vinyl pieces there at the end of the spokes because those pieces are totally ruined. But I gave up on that idea. I'm just going to cut those off and um, hope that that will look okay once I'm done with the, uh, with the steering wheel. But anyway, uh, we'll see how that turns out. So let's get busy with the project. Okay, let's give this a shot and see what happens. Just gonna paint the neck to to get this um, to slice through this, even though it's pretty soft. It just doesn't, does not wanna. So yeah, so that's gonna, I think it's gonna, it's gonna work a lot better. Gotta do both, uh, both sides here. See, so the spokes, instead of having this piece of leather going up, which looks nice, I know, but uh, there's no way that I can emulate that. So the new cover is just gonna wrap around this. I think that's a, far better idea and again my plan is to is to use some of the old leather pieces and kind of patch this up and uh, make it look a lot nicer and we'll get into those details once I have the new um, the new cover Okay, so what I'm doing here is using this cloth tape to cover some of the area up here that is really in bad shape. And again, this is not going to be either visible or you are not going to be able to feel this once the, the new cover is on. I am hoping anyway but it should be fine. And I like the fact that down here at the, at the bottom I can keep all these pieces especially around the um, where it meets the uh, spoke I can keep those pretty pretty snug so I think this is really the way to go alright guys so there you have it turned out pretty good actually I'm pretty pretty pleased with this material as a substrate it really hides all the the bad spots really well so since since this is so exciting I really felt compelled to to show you some of the sanding I'm using 80 grit and I'm dry sanding as you can see and I just want to get rid of all the um, the rust, uh, the rusty areas, the chips, and this is doing a pretty, pretty good job of that. So, but it is boring, and I guess 
for those of you who are more ambitious, I guess you could use some power tools if you wanted to um, to get these shiny. This almost feels like powder coating. I mean, it's, it is so hard and thick. But again, I'm I'm not an expert. But I think this is turning out pretty pretty smooth, and uh, I think it's going to be. All I'm going to have to do is give it a very light wet sanding when I'm done. And this is going to be perfect for for a few coats of paint. I'm, gonna do, I'm just wiping it down just to remove some of the excess uh, dust. It's quite a bit of that. And what I'm going to do next is give it a quick once over with uh, wet sandpaper. Do a little wet sanding just to make it really smooth and nice. And then this is looking really good. I mean, again, I've never done this before. Even though I installed one of those uh, wheel skins on my um, my other uh, my other steering wheel, but this is a little more involved, and I think I'm making good progress. And uh, and I think it's going to look pretty professional once I'm done with it. So. At least that is the plan. Okay, so I am done with the wet sanding. And of course, I got some water on the grip here. Not a big deal. I'll, I'm gonna set this aside anyway. I got other projects and stuff to do. I think you can see here a couple of areas where it was really scratched. So I um, the extra sanding there. I think all in all is looking pretty darn good. Same thing back here. A little was a little bit of rust, and uh, I'm not gonna sweat it too much. I mean, so here it is. And actually, I don't know if this was a mistake, but I got plenty of thread here, and. Are there any instructions? Yep. There, they have instructions in here. Just your average installation and care instructions. And I want to read these thoroughly so I can I can install it properly. But now is the moment of truth. Let me get the steering wheel based on the um, sizes they showed online I ordered the uh, the small cover it smells like leather it's really really nice so hopefully it'll, it'll it'll fit so I am sure this is a lot easier with a steering wheel in the car and as you can see I'm getting ready to paint the spokes hence the uh, the masking uh, paper all around it. So what I'm gonna do is, and I think the instructions, yeah, they, they show you, I've done this before, but the instructions are very clear. The seam, you want that at the very bottom here. So you try to center that with, the, with that spoke. And let's see what happens when I, stretch this over the steering wheel without tearing the um the masking that i that i did so let me and of course you want this to be centered for obvious reasons And one thing that I find sometimes a little challenging because it's, it can be a little bit, bit hard to, to handle is getting this perfectly centered with the, uh, with the spoke because it kind of shows if it's not for whatever reason. 
so give it a couple of tugs and yeah this is a lot better and again you want this cover to be center as you can see here it is not but you just position it and you want to bring it up here so you can see how this is going to look once it's done and yes this is fortunately this is the right size for the uh, for the steering wheel maybe a touch smaller would have been better but also so much about you know I'm saying keep saying stuff about being centered you want this to be you see what's happening here this one is right there almost to the to the edge of the spoke whereas the back is overlapping a little bit so again you want to make sure that this is even so when you start putting this together you do your sewing here it's gonna it's gonna be even and it's gonna come up the uh, the middle of the steering wheel grip Okay, so the paint has been curing for a few days now and it's time to remove this masking paper. it I think it turned out pretty good and of course this is far from being done next I have to start installing the, the steering wheel cover and um, but I think this this was a great idea if I so if I say so myself of uh, wrapping this whole thing with cloth tape it's really, really helped. So next, again, I'm gonna start with the seam here, stretching this thing and uh, getting it over the steering wheel, which is, again, as I mentioned earlier, I think, I believe it's a lot easier when you're doing this with the steering wheel in the car and as I mentioned earlier you want this seam to be kind of standard in relation to the spoke and for that sometimes you have to tug this a little bit until it kind of <laughs> the seam gets you know positioned where you want it <laughs> but as you can see that is pretty much perfectly centered there with the spoke. So that's pretty good. And the only thing that it's a little bit of a bummer, and this was the smallest one they had, is that this is kind of very, um, it's a little wider than the ideal size. So this is gonna overlap, and I don't know how that's gonna affect the stitch. I don't think it will, but we will find out as I start putting this thing together, and uh, hopefully it'll look okay. Okay, so a couple of items I wanted to mention. First of all, I um, 
Oh great, I found another little scratch here. I gotta tell you, my sanding and bodywork sucks. But anyway, if you drive really fast, nobody will notice that. But uh, anyway, what I'm gonna do is I decided that I don't like how much the overlap is here. It is just way too much. And I already mentioned that I use this cloth tape in that this is only like 5 eighths the, uh, the width of the tape so what I what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give it a, a, at least maybe two layers so what I did is I went ahead and ordered uh, one inch cloth tape and I'm gonna that should arrive today and I'm gonna again give it a couple layers so hopefully this gap here is not it's not gonna be as as big. I, I watched a video and it says that it's okay to overlap, but that is way too much in my opinion. Not that I know what the hell I'm talking about, but anyway. So that is item one. And again, with the dark finish here and the black um, cover, it looks kind of boring. So I was gonna run a poll and find out. It comes with, uh, with plenty of thread, but this is, um, just regular black thread so I thought well almost black black and black it would be too much so I was gonna do a, a poll and ask you guys what your thoughts are if I was to use something like this one is called superhero pink or manly pink what thread do you like best I'm kidding I ordered this one. This is actually, I think it's a one millimeter. Let's see if it says anything. 180 meters, I guess that's the total length, which is the equivalent of like 600 miles. I don't know. And um, this is waxed. I think this way, you, yeah. And um, it's a little thicker. And I think that would be a nice contrast, just to make it a little more interesting. I could have gone with a bright red, but I thought that this would be a little, a little better. I don't know. So either this or that, your choice. Just kidding. So anyway, those are the um, the updates. My plan is to do a lot of the stuff off camera, so I don't bore you to death. And I'm going to shut up now because I keep rambling. So I will be back in a minute. Actually, a second. Okay, so I added one more layer of the cloth tape. And this is very important. I mentioned, I think, at the beginning, this has to be centered with, a, with this spoke, with the bottom spoke. So everything looks nice and professional. So before I get started, I'm kind of measuring again. And, and even though this is not a perfect um, overlap, it is good enough. I think I want to have a little bit of, of an overlap there. And this is plenty. So what I'm going to do next is start getting this thread ready and these these covers, at least this one, is comes pre-perforated. So, in that case, you don't need a sharp needle. Ouch! Just kidding. And, um, just want to make sure that, um, that you have it threaded properly. And I have no clue as to how much thread I'm going to need here. So I'm going to do about three miles of thread. Or something like that. And then you can always start a new stitch and hide it and all of that. I hope anyway. So let me get this started and uh, we'll take it from there. Okay, so I measured here. I have a, one of these bench tape measures. So I have approximately six feet. And this is double because I want it to be strong and according to the instructions you want to 
nice little knot on it and I'm gonna get my thread ready okay so I believe I'm gonna start probably start on the third perforation here because when I'm finishing off I want to have a couple more threads maybe even a fourth or a fifth per per perforation here not preparation perforation so then when I'm finishing the uh, stitching off I can just run it up to here maybe to a double stitch and then hide the rest behind the uh, behind the um, the cover so to do this I'm gonna find one like here and from the inside I'm gonna start threading this thing I don't know if you can see that but trust me there's there's the thread and this I think I also mentioned this at the beginning of the um, of the video probably a lot easier if you're um, doing the install with the uh, steering wheel in the car I'm doing it the hard way here but oh well so the trick here is not to get this 10 mile long thing that I have here this thread all tangled up and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go again I hope that I'm making some sense here see these are the same location provided everything is installed properly and instead of going directly opposed to it I'm gonna go one over so I'm gonna have this thread moving up and that's gonna be all around in theory anyway so let's go in here and at first it's, uh, it's a little tricky because again you're dealing with a lot of thread see and then we have our first stitch of the day wow now what I would do next is don't start tightening the thing right away we want to move over to the to the next hole here and most important take your time don't rush the process see from here you can start positioning this so it looks good which in this case it doesn't because this one the overlaps on the wrong side here so there and again I made a mistake I went I skipped one hole which is not what you want to do <sighs> I did that on purpose to show you the error of my ways so you don't make the same mistakes take your time don't make a video so you get all distracted like me there it is and by the way I'm no expert but I think the uh, the wax thread this is actually nylon instead of cotton so it seems to work really well okay so that's better and again from here whoops from here what we're gonna do is find the needle and move over to the next one I'm just gonna keep doing this until I'm a really really old man okay so so far I got six stitches in it's only it's only been like 17 hours 
No. More like 15. But, uh, so anyway, instead of making yet another boring vi video, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pause this thing and then I'll show you a little progress down the line. I promise. I'm gonna try not to move the steering wheel, but the whole idea here is the first stitch. And once you get the, I'm using one of these cheapo, you know, they come in a kid, little picks and with little hooks and whatnot. And what I'm, what I'm gonna do here is once the, um, I determined that the overlap is, looks right. I'm gonna use the pick to, um, to start, you know, stretching the, um, pulling the thread so that is, is really nice and snug in there. And you don't have to do this unless it's really necessary, but I, I think, especially at the beginning, you want to do this, so all your stitches are nice and, and tight and uh, everything looks right. You know, at the end of the day, you want to take your time to make sure that that this thing is, is looking kind of professional, like a professional did it. Okay, so I'm getting pretty close to the to the spoke, one of the spokes here. And I wanted to show you the the transition. You can see I I've done pretty much one row here. And you want to put a stitch as close to the spoke as possible. Like so. Give it a good tug. They tend to uh, relax and release a little bit after a while. This ain't going anywhere. It's really, really nice. So for this one here, what I'm gonna do is just bring it across just like a regular stitch. And let me get the thread all situated here. and reposition the camera a little bit. So the plan here, again, this is, it, would, it will come this way, but what I'm gonna do from this point on is, and I know it's almost impossible to see, follow the next two to three holes and then pick it up again back here. And the reason you wanna have some stitching here is for obvious reasons, so it looks, so it looks good. So let's try this one. Don't go crazy though, because this has no support from back here. And again, you just want to basically dress it up. It's almost like a false stitch here because it is just looped around the um, the cover. Yeah, 
it'll all make sense. I hope, eventually. So, see, have these. This one actually is connected to to the cover from back here, but these two stitches are just all by themselves. So from this point, again, we're going to go back to back here, and let me try to find a hole that is lined up with it. Sorry, I know the camera work when you're working by yourself. It's it's pretty much impossible to do these things properly. But anyway, okay. So I brought it back here. I think I did this right. Let's check on it again. Yep. So this one is here, and now. We're going to start stitching like we were before. So one here, find one in the back, and then we're going to continue. I'm getting kind of to the end of this thread. So what I think I'm going to do is make one more stitch here. And then I think it's to hide these um, these stitches. I think the best approach is to just make a knot here, and then just push the uh, the thread inward, and hope that uh, no one will notice. Not the prettiest, but anyway, so I have from here to here to do, and so far I think it's looking pretty good. Okay, so I'm pretty much done with it. This little remnant of thread here what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna carefully push it into the um, under the cover and I think that's gonna be out of the way then and uh, you will not be able to feel it or anything and then also with the small flathead screwdriver I'm gonna keep pushing some of the um, of the fold kind of under and um, so it's so it's all seated properly under the, uh, the stitches I don't know if you can see that or not but this is what I'm doing and I think that may help a little bit Okay, so I think this steering wheel turned out pretty good and as you can see the stitching is consistent, it looks very even. Is it perfect? No. But it's pretty darn good. In the back here what I did is I apply a couple of uh, drops of crazy glue and that took care of those pieces lifting here which I did not care for and uh, there are a couple little 
I got a tiny little scratch there. There's some kind of dirt there. I wanna maybe wax it. But again, for you know what I started with, you can certainly certainly do a nice a nicer job than I can here. And uh, the more you practice, the better you get, I suppose. But anyway, so that is the finished product. Again, I'm very happy with the results. And um, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. If you've done something like this. And uh, any tips or anything that may help others trying to, uh, to do a job like this. So again, to recap, um, $20 for the cover, $10 to the steering wheel, another 10 bucks for some of that um, cloth tape that I bought, but an extra box of this stuff. I think I had it plenty, so I have a nice grip here. Frankly, I don't miss those little pieces of leather they look nice, yes, but uh, I think this is much cleaner and uh, a better, provides a better finished product. So anyway, that's it for now. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys later.